Hi, this is Leah Franklin with June's Chi Arts Video. Today we're at Eden Manor in Wakefield, Rhode Island. Eden Manor is a 26-room Victorian bed and breakfast from the 1840s. And their grounds are beautiful with some very big old trees, which is why we're here today. So today's Qigong technique is called drawing and sending. We're going to learn how we can utilize the energy centers in the palms of the hands and our breath, focus and concentration to draw in and then to send out. Now the meaning of Qigong is energy cultivation. So everything that we do in Qigong, all of the techniques, have to do with somehow cultivating energy, whether it's internal energy, or we're somehow integrating or drawing the universal energies. And the universal energies are infinite all around us. The same way we eat food and we drink water, and they all have a different flavor, a different color, a different taste, and a different nutrition for our body. It's the same way with energy that we don't necessarily think of as food. For instance, nature. There is a very nutritious energy that comes from the trees. The ancient Taoists believed that the trees were the most like human beings and they called the trees their brothers. So trees are rooted deep into the earth. They hold the earth they actually help to hold the earth from eroding. So the tree and the earth have a relationship. And then the trunk grows tall, so the tree has the energy of rising, of lifting up. And the branches, they connect with the sky, they connect with the heavens. So in the tree, we have the, the roots connecting with the earth and the branches connecting with the heavens. This is very much how human beings are meant to be. Meant to be connected, heaven and earth. And to have these energies move through us and be balanced and integrated. The trees also emit oxygen, which we take in and we breathe. So there's a relationship between human beings and trees that's very, very deep and important. So today, we're going to work with this big tree behind me and we'll be drawing and sending. Now the first thing you need to understand is that in Qigong, breath is what helps us to move energy. We learn in Qigong to breathe into the body consciously and deeply. By connecting the mind, the thought, with the breath, by fusing the mind and the breath, when you take that breath into you, you bring energy into you. When you take that breath consciously with your awareness, with your mind, the mind becomes connected to the energy. Becomes very easy then as you practice to, with your mind, begin to intend and move energy. With your breath to intend and to move energy. So it's as simple as that. All right, so we're breathing in deeply. You want to feel you've filled yourself up as deeply as you can, and when you exhale, let it go out. So like a great ocean wave, inhale, and exhale. You see my belly growing when I inhale. I want to take it as deep as I can to ingest it. Bringing it deep down and letting it go. So to begin to connect the palms of the hands with the breath and the mind, simple exercise like this. Put the palms out. As you inhale, draw the palms towards you. Being very sensitive to the sensation in the center of the, at the, center of the hand and exhale. We want to inhale through the nose. Receive the breath. 
Now turn it around and exhale through the mouth. So let's work on that movement. Just the simple inhale and exhale. You want the elbow to be down so there's no tension in the shoulder. You want the wrist and the hand to be soft because the softer you are, the more chi you can feel. Inhaling and exhale. In and exhale. I feel like I'm drawing in through my fingers, into my palm. And then I'm gently sending it out of my palms. Allow yourself to be gentle and open to the awareness of sensation. Any sensations that you feel around your palms, your fingertips, in the body. The more awareness that you open up to, the more feeling that comes in. Okay, so that's the pattern with the hands. Taking this technique and going up to the big tree or going to a beautiful bush that's in bloom that's pink or purple or white or yellow and that just drawing in. So what am I doing with my eyes? If I'm working with the tree, I have the center of my forehead right here. We have another energy center in the center of the forehead. We focus with here and we focus with the eyes and we focus with the breath. All of those things coming together to draw in whatever it is that we're working with. If it's the tree energy, if it's the plant, if it's the water, the sky, the clouds, all of these universal energies have a rich and potent energy that our bodies are meant to integrate and really thrive on as much as we do food and water. So let's just move closer to the tree and we'll work with the tree energy. This is an amazing tree. I don't even know how many hundreds of years old it is, so there's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of years in this tree. There's a lot of nature and potency in it. So the way I can work with drawing and sharing, integrating this tree's energy so I put my hands out like this. I'm going to focus on the tree with my third eye, with my eyes, palms of my hands, until I actually feel like we're connected. And, and you will all of a sudden feel like you're in the field, the energy field of the tree. At that point, it's okay to close your eyes because you're connected. And then we'll just, I'll just draw that in with my breath and I'll give back to the tree. I'll draw it in and I'll give back to the tree and we'll be sharing that energy.
I feel very connected to the tree now. I can feel that lifting, like I'm being drawn up. I feel the strength in the tree. It makes me feel a strength in my own body. <laughs> 